guys welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new my name is heather i'm a homeschooling mom of three kids elementary middle and high school we are going into our 12th year of homeschooling this year if you are not subscribed i would love for you to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you are notified of all of my future videos today i am going to be talking all about some of the features that you may not know about with teaching textbooks i do want to thank teaching textbooks for sponsoring this video I will have links in the description box for a free trial for teaching textbooks as well as my corresponding blog post that goes through some of these features a little bit more in depth. So let's get started. We've been using teaching textbooks for many years now, and I really like how it takes a lot of pressure off of me when it comes to teaching math. My kids really enjoy the program. They like to use it on the computer. I do have some different hybrid approaches for Emma that we do, and I will talk about those as we go through all of these features. Jack is in pre-algebra this year. It's super helpful to have all of the grading, all of the walkthroughs of every single problem. Those are things that we all know about with teaching textbooks. But one of the reasons that I really, really like teaching textbooks and a feature that you may not know much about is their free tutoring. Now, I did talk about this a little bit um, in one of my previous teaching textbooks videos, but Teaching Textbooks does offer free tutoring with all of their levels. The way that this works is you, if your student is really struggling with a particular problem in a lesson, all you need to do is call customer service and they will set up a time to call you back and work through that problem with one of their tutors and your student. This is something I think is so very important for math, especially as you get into the upper level maths. Um, it's something that I can definitely see myself needing to use as we move into more Algebra 2 and Pre-Calculus material with Emma and eventually with Jack. I took all of these classes. I am actually quite math-minded, but when I go back through some of the problems, I'm having to relearn them. And sometimes you don't want to do that, especially when it comes to pre-calculus. I have no desire to relearn pre-calculus. So if there is a problem that your student just cannot get, the first thing you do is you want to do the second chance. You want to go through all of the hints and see if it's something that maybe is just not um, sticking out to your student. But if they still cannot figure it out, all you need to do is call their customer service. You tell them the lesson and the problem number. They will call you back at a specific time and you will go through that problem together. So I think that that is such a wonderful resource. It is free. It is included with every single level. I definitely think that this is helpful. I've gotten so many questions over the past couple of years um, from people in my community about how to teach math at a higher level when you don't remember that math or maybe you weren't a good math student when you were in high school and junior high and that's totally okay because teaching textbooks really takes that pressure off of the homeschool parent. The next feature that you may not know about is the extra practice problems. Both the pre-algebra and algebra one levels have these extra practice problems for every single lesson. All you have to do is go into the parent portal on the teaching textbooks website and they will have the option to print out the ebook. When you click on that ebook icon, it does show you where the extra practice problems are for each lesson you just click on it and you can print it out and give your student an extra set of problems to work on if it's something you think that they need a little bit more practice with or if you just want to have them do extra math so that it really solidifies it in their mind I think this is a great option sometimes there's a concept that they may be getting but they may be doing a second chance for every single time if that's the case you just print it out and then they can have those extra practice problems to work through as well. We used this extensively last year when, when Emma was in Algebra 1 and I've already started using it with Jack for pre-algebra this year. I think it's super awesome to have those extra practice problems, especially um, for these particular levels of math. The next feature you may not know about is that teaching textbooks in their geometry level 
integrates a lot of ACT and SAT prep through every single lesson. They have um, all kinds of problems that are modeled after the math problems that are on both the ACT and the SAT throughout the geometry level. So you are making sure that your student gets plenty of practice with those types of problems as they prepare for the ACT or SAT tests. Uh, for college. So that is another great way that teaching textbooks prepares you for college, gets you ready, gives you that extra bit of practice that you need. Having those problems integrated in the level itself is, is very helpful. Then when you're going through SAT or ACT prep, you already have some experience with the types of problems that they have on those tests. The next feature you may not know about because it is relatively new is the option to work offline. Now, in the 3.0 version, everything was done on the computer. So if you had a power outage or if you were traveling, you weren't really able to use the program unless you could access good internet. So the fact that they now have the option to work offline is very helpful. What happens is when you launch the app, when you are connected to the internet, it automatically downloads six lessons to your device. So you are able to then go go out and do car schooling. We did a ton of car schooling last fall when my kids were participating in public school band and we were at the school every day. Or if you're just going on a trip and you know you're not going to have access to the internet but you want your kids to still be able to work on their math. So all you have to do is launch the app when you're connected to the internet and then it will automatically download those six lessons. It does tell you on the lesson if it's available offline. Um, it just says you can work offline on the, the main lesson page and you just want to make sure that you connect to the internet so that it updates the grades at some point and you can download more lessons to your device. Now, if you download them to one device and then take a different device on the road, that isn't going to work. You just want to make sure that the device that you are planning to use when you are away from the internet is the device that you open connected to the internet and have those lessons downloaded automatically to that particular device. Now, the other way that we use teaching textbooks in sort of an offline hybrid uh, approach is I will print out the problems from the ebook, which is the same location that you find the practice problems for pre-algebra and algebra one. You can print out the lessons. It has the entire lecture as well as the practice problems that you can download and then print out if you want to. What has worked really well for Emma is for her to either watch or read the lecture and then do the problems on paper. And then she goes back into the app and she will enter her answers into the app to see if she got them correct or not. And then from there, if she got an incorrect answer, she will have a second chance, etc. Um, but this approach has worked really well for Emma. She prefers to watch the lecture and then step away from the computer and work on the problems on paper. And I think that's a really great option if your kids don't like to do a ton of computer work, but you still want to have the luxury of not having to grade everything or teach the math lesson yourself, this gives you that option. It is something that we are continuing to do this year. It has worked really well for her. Now on the complete opposite side, my son Jack loves to do everything on the computer. And one of the features that he loves the most is the scratch pad. He is left-handed and because of that, he really struggles with, um, he doesn't struggle with writing, but he does not like writing and the smearing of um, pen or uh, pencil on the paper. He prefers to use the scratch pad. The scratch pad is something that is built into the app. So you can, if you have a touch screen, you can use a touch screen and write directly on like a tablet or a phone to do 
the problem. What Jack does is he uses his uh, Wacom One drawing tablet and that works for him because he has like a little stylus that he can um, write out the numbers and does all of his work right on the computer. There is no need to flip back and forth between the lesson and the scratch pad. You have the option to enter the answer right on the scratch pad, which is really helpful. Um, so you just don't have to go back and forth. So these are two completely different ways that we use teaching textbooks. I do love the scratch pad. I love that it gives Jack the ability to work on his work without getting frustrated with smudge marks and whatnot. With the scratch pad, you also have the option to clear the whole screen. You can undo steps, you can zoom in, uh, you can change the, the paper that you're working on, um, the digital wallpaper, I guess, of what you are using. You can also change the pencil color and thickness, which is nice. Um, some kids are very particular about how things look, and this is just one of the ways that teaching textbooks supports that. Overall, I really love these features. These are some of the main features and reasons why we continue to use teaching textbooks, and I know that sometimes these are not talked about as much, especially the tutoring, especially the extra practice problems and the SAT and AC CT prep. As somebody who has middle and high school kids doing math, I want to make sure that we are preparing them as well as we can for college. If you have questions about teaching textbooks, you can leave them in the comments or you can certainly email me. My contact form is always in the description box. Don't forget to grab your free trial. I know that everybody is kind of starting back to homeschool soon or have started recently and you may be struggling finding a math curriculum, the free trial is wonderful because they give you the first 15 lessons of every level for free. And then if you do decide to purchase that level, you are able to then roll all of the work that you've done, that your student has done for those 15 lessons right into the program. There's no need to go back and redo it. So all of the grades and everything will continue onto the, the grade book for that particular level. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.